वेलकम बैक कंपोज एक्सप्लोरर्स टुडे वी आर ग्रेड बाउंड अ ग्रेड लेआउट कैन ब्यूटीफुली प्रेजेंट कंटेंट इन अ सिमेट्रिकल पैटर्न मेकिंग इट आइडियल फॉर इमेज गैलरीज प्रोडक्ट डिस्प्लेस और एनी कंटेंट दैट रिक्वायर्स यूनिफॉर्म प्रेजेंटेशन लेट्स सी हाउ वी कैन सेट अप दिस अप इन जेट पैक कंपोज सो फर्स्ट लेट्स यूज दिस लेजी वर्टिकल ग्रेड here we need to provide two compulsory things that content we will provide through the parenthesis in this column parameter we need to provide how many columns we need in that vertical grid we have two options we can provide a hard coded value something like three columns in a vertical grid or something like adaptive so first let's use some hard coded value of 3 so here we can provide grid cells dot fixed and let's use three count and in this lazy grid isko we have many functions like we have this item so here we can provide either a count of items or a list of all the items and we also can provide a single item with the use of this item or we can use this items index if we want to know the index of each items so for now let's use this items with the count so here let's provide 100 count and in this items block we place the list of all the items we want to present in the uh, vertical grid but what i will do for simplicity sake i have pasted an image in my drawable package this compose logo so i will use this compose single logo to repeat it 100 times so here let's use an image composable and also let's provide the size of that image with the help of this modify dot size something like 60 dp now let's run our app and see how this will place these images so instead of that compose logo i have used this image so let's change it to post logo and we can see this lazy vertical grid has arranged all these 100 images in a grid with three columns and despite its grid structure the scroll remains vertical ensuring a familiar smooth user experience so what more we have so this fixed value of three counts has divided the whole width into a three equal space so instead of this fixed let's use that adaptive and in this adapted we can provide minimum size so here let's use this minimum size because my image is 60 dp of size so let's use that 60 dp and run it again here with this adapted i have provided this minimum size 60 dp to each cell of that vertical grid it means this vertical grid will place as many items as it is possible to place in a single row but the minimum size of each cell will be of 60 dp suppose if i try to rotate it so here we can see now each row has more items because of this adaptive sizing so let's rotate it back to the portrait mode and see what more we can do with this lazy vertical grid now if i want to give some space all around my vertical grid layout so i can use this content padding modifier so here let's use this content padding and run it again so here we have this 30 dp content padding all around our content so when we scroll down so here we can see and let's see what more we have 
we see that we don't have any space in between each row so we can also provide this spacing we have this vertical arrangement here let's use that arrangement dot space by so now we can see we need 10 dp space in between each row so let's run it again now we have 10 dp space in between each row this in the similar way we also have this horizontal arrangement again here we can provide that arrangement dot space by to give something like 10 dp in between each columns so now we have 10 dp space in between that horizontally we can see the space is more in between each column because there was not possible to place five items in each row so this vertical grid has put only the four items and whole width has divided into four equal spacing that's why it has more space in between each columns so after this let's use our lazy horizontal grid and this lazy horizontal grid is exactly same of that lazy vertical grid only the difference is now we have the perimeter with the name of row instead of that column only the naming is different and the orientation so again let's use let's copy this code and provide this row to fixed two cells and comment this one out so this horizontal grid is taking the whole width of the screen so let's provide a fixed width to it remove this fill max size modifier from that surface and run it again so here we can see we have this lazy horizontal grid with two cells we have this smooth scrolling experience and everything else is exactly same so let's minimize it and let's press ctrl b so here we have this documentation we can also see under the hood they both are implementing this lazy grid we can also see the lazy vertical grid and we can see all these parameters of both these layouts are exactly same only few name differences because of that orientation now let's have a look into our favorite app to see lazy vertical grid and lazy horizontal grid layout in action here we can see this instagram app has applied this lazy vertical grid in placing these posts that's our take on lazy vertical grid and lazy horizontal grid in jetpack compose if you appreciated this lazy approach hit the like button and share the knowledge subscribe for more compose wonders mm -hmm.